when we are looking at the concept of leadership within Islam and how Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi, he relates to leadership within Islam, then we have to go back to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. The question is why? And the answer is that Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam patented his leadership after the leadership of his teacher. One of the more insightful ayats related to uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam and leadership is found in the ayah which relates to Mubahala where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam was ordered to call certain family members to prove the correctness or the truth of his message. And there's a particular section of the ayah which is very instructive. So it reads, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Qul ta'alaw nad'u abna'ana wa abna'akum, wa nisa'ana wa nisa'akum, wa anfusana wa anfusakum. And here, anfusana I want to focus on. Allah Azza wa Jal chooses the words anfusana. So it means then here that the leadership which Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam enacted is the leadership in and of itself of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam favoring none and giving justice to all. And when we talk about leadership, we're not talking about a leadership which is just focused primarily on its time. A leadership which has an impact not only on its time, not only on its immediate surroundings, but on times to come and surroundings uh, which extend far and wide. So even today, we are talking about the leadership qualities of Amir al-Mu'mineen, salawatullahi alayhi, and what we can learn from them. And I think one of the key features which we can learn uh, from the Imam alayhi salam with regards to leadership is tawakkul, trusting on Allah azza wa jal. That the position we have is one which is earned, not that it's usurped. And within that position, we trust on Allah azza wa jal once we have made a decision to go forward with something or to withhold from something. And so I think Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam provides a unique example for us to follow. And bi'idhnillah, Allah azawajal will bless us with that ability.